Support Wrestle Talk. Click the thumbs up. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I am El Fakador Laurie Blake. And All Hallows' Eve is over now, so we no longer have to worry about scary kids knocking on the door, reminding us that time is marching on. We're on the wrong side of the slope, leading down towards death. But fortunately, the seasonal joy lives on on Twitter, where WWE's Titus O'Neil has been playing tricks on Natalia. Just stopped by Natalia's house for Halloween. Y'all, we really need to pray for Tyson Kidd, because she can't cook, watch kids, or apparently be a good Halloween host for the neighbourhood kids. Natty, what the hell is this? Queen of Hearts, broccoli. There is definitely a Queen of Farts joke in here somewhere, but... Oh yeah, WWE did that already. From the Queen of Hearts to the King of Bros, and that's a wind-powered segue. As Matt Riddle made his television debut on NXT this week, where he handily topped Luke Menzies, making him tap with the bro mission. It was a strong showing for Riddle, and it looks like WWE have basically decided to just let him do him. You do you, hun, including your flip-flops. Also out there just doing them were the War Raiders, who came out to attack the Undisputed Era before their scheduled match against Adam Cole and Bobby Fish could even get started. However, the numbers advantage quickly got the better of the Raiders before Ricochet arrived to make the save, and then, oh, those pesky numbers again. But then fortunately, Pete Dunne came out to make the save to much Applause. This forced William Regal to pop on out and make a match for TakeOver War Games 2 on November 17th, which will see the full four man Undisputed Era face off against the team of War Raiders Ricochet and Pete Dunne in a War Games match. Ooh. What a surprise. It's not like they've been building it for ages. Regal also announced that Tommaso Ciampa will defend the NXT title against the Velveteen Dream, and Alistair Black is going to have a shot at revenge against Emo Johnny, my chemical Gargano, so it's already looking like it's going to be another killer takeover. Speaking of takeovers, Chris Jericho has been leading a wrestling one on a cruise ship for the past few days. I don't know, you probably heard. It was a jam packed lineup, including a 16 man Sea of Honor tournament and the Bullet Club of Kenny Omega. Cody Rhodes and Marty Skrull versus the Alpha Club of the Young Bucks and Christopher Christopherson Jellico. According to Wrestling Inc, fans were told not to take photos or videos of this match specifically, and security were clamping down on people with their phones out. This is no doubt because it will be streamed on Fight on November 3rd if you do want to see it, but a few photos did get out, including these natty shirts and this Chris Jackson. But that wasn't the only thing that happened aboard, there was also a mutiny. Y2J recorded an episode of Talk is Jericho with the Bucks, Cody, Adam Page, Skrull and Kenny Omega in which Matt Jackson confirmed that the Elite is no longer part of the Bullet Club. Myself, Kenny Omega and my brother, we attacked AJ Styles, calling ourselves the Elite of Bullet Club. For a long time now, it seems like everybody kind of excluded the Elite and we got called the Being the Elite guys, BTE guys, or the Elite. It's not like I'm gonna make this crazy announcement because it just feels natural, right? I think everyone on the ship can agree it's not just Kenny, me, and Nick as the Elite. We're all Elite. So from this day forward, why don't we just call all of us the Elite? This seems to confirm the rumours that the group were looking to distance themselves from the Bullet Club as their contracts begin to come up. The guys teasing that their latest shirts are the last in the Bullet Club style. There have been multiple teases at a WWE signing and being in the Elite. And Cody outright said on Twitter in a Q&A that he's not involved in the Bullet Club anymore. But then again, wrestlers say a lot of things. So Cody Road, 100% Bullet Club confirmed. In the saying a lot of things category, for instance, Wrestling Co reported that Cody also cut a promo after his match with Delirious on the ship, saying he won't sign with WWE and plans to do everything in his power to make all in to happen. Who to believe? As a special treat for the SWAF Nation, if you visit WrestleCrate.co.uk and use the discount code WTTV, you'll get a free autograph bundle, including one from a WWE legend, a current WWE star, and one from Ollie and Luke in your first box. Nothing from me because I'm not allowed to use pens. WrestleCrate is a monthly mystery box full of loads of wrestling goodies, which is items from the biggest promotions in wrestling. What is going to happen at Crown Jewel? Should the show even be happening? One the whole one of those questions is answered in our Crown Jewel Predictions video, which you can watch by clicking the link on screen now. And give us a subscribe to stay up to date on all of the latest wrestling news. I've been El Fakador, and that was Lucha.